You know what? Why play one sport at a time when you can play two sports? We've been doing that a lot. We've been combining these things. In the world of hybrid sports, pin and proper is the perfect example. They put together football and bowling. Now, we knew we had to check this thing out for ourselves, and we did. We went road tripping. Come on with us. This is pretty cool. This week, we headed to the Grant Park area to check out the pinfall craze at pin and proper. We can't get enough of our sports, so much so, we started combining them. From canoe polo and chess boxing to disc golf and underwater rugby, here's another to add to the list. Football and bowling. And it's happening right here in Atlanta. My wife and I are from Detroit, and we brought this game pinfall from Detroit. It's a hybrid of football and bowling. So teams stand on opposite ends of the lane, and you throw a football back and forth. And the first team to knock all the 10 pens down wins. Okay, now I was on your website earlier and I thought, oh, these are like small footballs and small pins. These are real bowling pins. Yeah, these are regulation bowling pins and we use regular regulation NFL size footballs. I'm ready to go for that first throw. Uh, let's do it. Do the rubber match, but you won one, I won one. Not bad for a first timer, huh? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So even after just a couple of games, I'm a big guy. I've already worked up an appetite. You guys got a full service menu here. What are some of the things you're going to highlight this morning? So we've got some Brussels sprouts, we've got the Impossible Burger, and then we've got some sliders we're going to try as well. This is actually the Impossible Burger. It's a vegan and gluten-free patty. You swear by this thing. This thing is amazing. Oh, I'll be the judge of this. And. This is unbelievable. This is a life-changing experience I'm having right now. My midlife crisis is over. I am now going to become vegan. With all this newfound vegan energy, I was ready for the deciding third game. One pin left on the board. Suddenly, my old football senses kicked back in. <laughs> Sorry, Chase. I didn't want him to win that third game, and he was about to right there, so I intercepted. But what a cool place, cool concept over in East Atlanta, because we're seeing all these new little fun yeah. hybrid places to go and everything. And this was neat, throwing footballs onto bowling pins, you know? Another great date night idea or for the family? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, the family included, too, because they've got 11 lanes. You could play. It's secluded, so you can actually have your dinner or your lunch, and you're not going to get hit by a football or anything. And let me tell you something. The menu was incredible. That, <laughs> that impossible burger, I was like, oh, it's going to taste terrible. You can't tell the difference. What's in it? It's just yeah. vegan stuff. I mean, I don't know what the secret like is, but it's all and vegetables and beans, whatever vegan beans mayonnaise and, and, and yeah. 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 yeah, but it was good. Good stuff. Full service bar and really a fun place. In fact, that's right off the one of the ends of the belt line that they're just now completing, and yeah. then the all new townhouses going up. You know, we're talking about you know refurbishing and building all these new neighborhoods. So perfect spot, fun thing to do. Aww. I love I love doing these road tripping things. <laughs>